Well, unfortunately, the King Pong has uh, finally ended up dying. Kept it alive for five years. Well, two, four years in the ground, sorry. And uh, one of those years, it was in a pot, and that was when I first germinated it. So I did germinate this palm in the year 2019 over the summer. And what you see right now on the screen is a picture of it after it germinated. Probably, it was probably a month or a month and a half old at this point. But as you can see, it was a pretty small seedling. So I did germinate this palm from seed. And the next picture that you see on the screen right now, or next few pictures, I'm not sure how many I'm going to put in here. Uh, those are it at kind of its peak. So last fall during kind of mid fall was its peak size. Uh, it did frost a little bit on it and kind of damage it a bit at the very, very end of the fall. And that's when we kind of did that last minute protection attempt. But as you can see, unfortunately that wasn't enough for it. I'm not quite sure if it was the cold that got it or me cutting its leaves. It probably was a combination of both of them. Obviously crown shafted palms don't like their leaves prematurely cut off, but there was literally no other way we could protect it. Otherwise it would be kind of like ridiculous. Uh, so we did try to protect it for one more year, but as you can see, it just didn't make it. Ultimately, uh, it did have a green. I did tr attempt to trunk cut it, but obviously with it being a crown shafted palm, it's just not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> but it did die from that as well, but there was no spear. It was pretty much rotting in the middle. So yeah, here it is. The King Palm germinated in 2019. And it's now 2024. It, I planted it in the ground in March of 2020. So it's been in the ground here in Central Virginia for 40 years. Uh, so, you know, it's a pretty long time uh, for a palm that really, really shouldn't be here. Uh, it shouldn't really grow anywhere north of maybe Northeast Florida, right on the beach, in like a really, really good microclimate. This is realistically a 10A palm or a 9B palm in a really, really good you know, warm spot. Uh, so it's a Arcanto Phoenix Cunninghamiana. That's the scientific name or a king palm. So, yep, this is it, unfortunately, but that's all right. It was to be expected. See, there's a tiny bit of green on it right here. And you can kind of see, you know, there's my hand by it. It had some legitimate trunk on it. There's some right here. So yeah, I did get trunk on a, there's still some green right here too as well. But I did get trunk on a king palm in central Virginia. So that's pretty cool. Obviously this was just an experiment, but here it is. So thanks for watching. And of course I have many more palms. So, you know, it sucks that it died, but there's other things I have in uh, this is also pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for watching. And this is the final King Palm update.